I'm quickly finding out just how unprepared I am for this. Um, I have basically nothing for the whole equipment checklist and we're just going through renting everything now. I've got to rent every single thing we're taking up the mountain. This is my pile of stuff so far. That's Olivia's and we're still going. <laughs> This is me. Right, that is it. Everything is now rented. Um, it was a long list of stuff, but it was even including a 50% discount, it was $160. But honestly, it's worth it, I think. It's worth getting the stuff you really need because I don't want to get up there and be freezing. It's already 8 pm, so all we're doing is going to bed now, and then tomorrow we start the climb. We're at the Marangu Gate now. Are we ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so psyched. <laughs> yeah, this is all of us and this is the starting point called Marangu Gate. Um, there's seven of us going up in total and I'm going to try and film as much as I can. But obviously the further we go up, the more difficult it's going to be with battery and the cold and everything. But um, I'm not going to lie, pretty, pretty anxious right now, pretty nervous. But it's just one foot after the other and we're going to we're gonna make it. It does say Uhuru Peak, which is 5,800 meters, is only 19 hours. I don't think we're gonna make that. We're doing it over five days, so I think it's three days to the top, and then a day and a half down. But yeah, <laughs> 19 hours, I'm not so sure. All right, and we're off. Yeah? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, very, very good, very relaxed and chilled. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nervous as hell? I'm um, just nervous for the last part. Okay. Yeah. So the main thing you're told the whole way through, even from when we just started, is slowly, slowly. You have to go as slow as possible to try and conserve your energy and to get used to going up in altitude. If you go quick, you'll burn out, so it's all slowly, slowly, walk as slow as you can. George, how do you say slowly, slowly? Poly, poly. Poly, poly. Yeah. Always poly, poly. Yeah. Okay. This is the rainforest section. Right, we've been walking for two hours so far, and to be perfectly honest, so far, so good. It, it's all right, but this is the really the easiest day. The interesting thing about Kili is that it has five different climates. We just walked through the rainforest part, which I showed you, and now this has switched into the moorland. All the trees are different. In the first part, oh, Jumbo. Jumbo. In the first part, there was the really tall rainforest trees, and then there are these much shorter, different trees. We've still got three more climates ahead, and obviously, it's gonna get steeper, and it's gonna get a lot colder. Is it good? Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. <laughs> we just changed it to the next zone, but I'm worried about the Arctic side. Mm-hmm, later on. Ooh. Day one down. <laughs> it was just three hours hiking today. And I'm not gonna lie, like this is our stop off for tonight. It's a lot more built up than I expected. This is, this is pretty nice for the first night. I was expecting something more rustic. But not complaining at all, pretty happy. First day down, three hours in. And now we just rest here tonight before heading off again tomorrow morning. Right, this is us for tonight. Double banks, one each. And here's the gag. <laughs> so each morning and evening we're doing checks to see how the altitude affects us. Yeah. Alright, beginning of day two. Let's go. <laughs> this is a bit of a harder day today. 
Should be about seven of hours of walking and we're going up another 1,000 meters. We're at 2,700 now and by tonight we'll be at 3,700. We're now in the moorland proper and this is a mountain crater formed by a volcano a long time ago. As you can see, there's no real shade anymore. Today it's pretty cloudy so it's, it's not very hot but we're out of the shade from now on. This is our first glimpse of snow. Wait, is that where we're going? Are we going that way? Yes. Eventually, no, no. yeah. Like so far away. <laughs> we're now inside the crater. This is very cool. I don't think I've ever been in a mountain crater like this. What's the name of this crater? Mount you know? Crater. Mount Crater. Yeah, so Mount Crater. Easy. <laughs> okay, so although it's getting colder as we go up, this is becoming more important. You need sunscreen, factor 50, or as high as you can go. Because as you get higher, more UV light gets through, so you'll get burnt even if you feel cold. Starting to see the first bit of the peak over there. Mumbo! Also, I think we're over 3,000 now. Probably like 3,001, 3,200. So you're starting to feel the altitude a bit, like the air's thinner, and it's just getting a little bit harder. But there's a long way to go still. Quick chocolate break. Polly Polly. We've got our pack lunch ready. Halfway. Oh, God, yeah, just what was that? <laughs> was it what? <laughs> what does it do? It sucks your butt. Yeah, there's something on me. Let's go. <laughs> no, I know. Still going. Is this the camp? Yes. Wow. That is <laughs> wow. Few minutes to be there. We made it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> wow. Well, you can't quite see it now. Maybe you can, but that is the camp, and we made it. End of day two. And one thing I haven't told you yet, I think, is that it's my birthday <laughs> today. I'm 28 years old. 25th of September, and I get to celebrate on Kilimanjaro. <laughs> you're happier now. I'm happier now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I filmed you, you were like head down. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Today was harder, right? Oh yeah, it was harder. So I think tomorrow will be even harder. Yeah, but we made it. This didn't feel like six hours, no, seven hours. No, this didn't feel like six hours, no. Yeah. Tomorrow we have to have to go. Yeah, so this morning, Olivia got me a candle and wrote a message in a pancakes. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. And it's my... 28th birthday now. <laughs> you did good. And we get. Happy to you. <laughs> uh, to be honest, like I've always wanted, I want to try and do something cool on each birthday, and I'm not really sure. As long as we make it to the top, I'm not really sure how I'll top Kilimanjaro. But this is a very cool thing to be doing on my birthday. <laughs> first things first. Harambu hut down day two boom Woo day two down <laughs> all right it's like almost six I just started to get like a really bad headache I don't know if it's the altitude or just dehydration but I'm just drinking loads of water and hopefully it goes away but yeah really hurts right now Actually, it looks just like sunrise out there. 
I'll be perfectly honest, this sunrise, uh, I'll be perfectly honest, this sunset is amazing and normally I'd probably try and get a time lapse but my head still is pounding. The guy just told me just to drink loads of water, it's normal, everyone, well lots of people get it, um, take some paracetamol and see how you feel in the morning. So that's the plan, but look at that, oh, that's amazing. All right, I'll see you in the morning. All right, beginning of day three, and this is the real hard push. We're basically walking all day, another thousand meters to 4,700, resting a bit tonight, and then doing the other thousand meters to the summit. So this is really about 12 hours of walking, right? Today, a bit more? Yeah, yeah, to the base camp is about four to five. Okay. okay. If you have a good pace, that's before, why not? The slow pace is like five minutes. Poly, poly. Yeah. And to then the base to the summit from the base camp? From the, I mean, to the summit from the base camp is about six to seven. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. So, all of that today. Feeling better? Good. Olivia had a little situation yesterday. As always. Yeah. Um, Trip. Yeah. Some guys were shouting at her to hurry up and then fell down the steps to kind of hurt this leg. So, um, kind of doing it with a bit of a hindrance. But you're going to keep going? We can really see it now, look, getting closer and closer and you can see how steep it is now. I actually feel way better right now than yesterday. Last night I had that proper headache but today this is feeling really good. You don't know um, how the altitude is going to affect you the further you go up, but right now, feeling good. Look at that! We'll be on the top of there tonight. Oh, tomorrow morning. That's good. How are you doing? Good? Yeah, 4,150. Now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Higher than you've ever been? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. It's moving into the Alpine Desert. Last stop, almost there, one hour to base camp. Whew. Olivia's really struggling with this last part. She's off her head there, but already fell down once and walking really, really slow. Told me not to help, and the guides there is helping, so hopefully she'll be alright. Okay, this shows the reality of what's possible. It's a stretcher going down, but it's at the altitude. And we're almost to base. Okay, we made it to the camp. Base camp before tonight. Olivia's struggling a little. Mm. Mm, a lot of the altitude. So mm. I was about drinking loads of water, trying to rest up and trying to feel better before we start climbing tonight. And resting as much as possible before midnight. That's why we don't want anyone to lose <laughs> Okay guys. All right.
That was our final briefing. People have sort of recovered and climatized a little bit. Um, we leave at 11 p.m. tonight. It's six now, so we just need to get like a few hours sleep as much as we can before going off tonight. Yeah, it's getting very cold, and this is going to be very hard, I think. But we're almost there. How you doing? Need to walk slowly, slowly. Yeah, pull it, pull it. You feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling better, but if I walk too fast, Headache. the world moves. Yeah, it's very cold actually. I'm going to get inside. Yeah, let's go inside. This is us for tonight. <coughs> Four hours kit. Oh. Okay. Now I'm not exaggerating when I say that the next 10 hours were some of the hardest hours of my life so far. We started the climb at midnight and the idea is you climb through to about 8, 9 a.m. and catch the sunrise at the top. I didn't film that much of it because it was just so exhausting to, as it was without getting the camera out. And also it was pitch black. We were walking mostly through the dark. It was about three hours in when we started to realize that Olivia wasn't really gonna make it. She got to a point where she was just unable to breathe and continue. And so we split the group and half carried on to the top and I stayed with Olivia and we started walking up just with one guide. It was then another two hours later where we had to make a call and they asked Olivia, well basically they said to Olivia, you can't breathe right now, you're struggling to breathe, it would be too dangerous for you to continue. So she went back with one of the guides, because by this point we'll have two, and We'd already decided beforehand, we had a pack that I would carry on, and so I carried on to the top with the one guide left. That was about 4 a.m. maybe, 4 or 5 a.m. And I really wanted to get to the top for sunrise. This is also the point where it started snowing pretty heavily. It's the first snow on the mountain for, I think, for a little while, anyway. So then it's snowing down, I'm climbing up completely exhausted already because I've already done four or five hours in the dark, but I wanted to make it to the top for sunrise. So I kept going and this is why I'm saying it's the hardest thing I've ever done because by that point I had no rest, I hadn't stopped at all, I was completely exhausted already and I was only, well I was still 800 meters away from the top, I was only probably a, like maybe max a third of the climb done. So I pushed through and kept climbing and really, without a break at all, managed to reach Gilman's point, which is just before the summit. And that's where I finally had the energy to start filming. Right, I have made it to <coughs> Gilman's point. Oh, that's all snow behind me, it's gone properly snowy. I'm not even filming with my main, my main camera because I'm too tired. This is just my phone. But I made it to Gilman's point. Five, what is it? Five, six, eight, five. And now just one more hour to the peak. I'll be completely honest, I'm exhausted. My legs are hurting. Um, but we've got to keep going. And these guys have been amazing. I made it to the top. I'm not exactly sure how because that was the most exhausting thing I've ever done. Unfortunately Olivia didn't, she couldn't breathe so she went down and I barely even remember the top, I was delirious. My head is pounding but look at that we are at the top. That's Uhuru Peak. 5,000 895 meters, the top of Kilimanjaro. We did it. Uh, <laughs> I'm so exhausted. My head hurts like nothing. I try and drink water, but it's not enough. And it was snowing and dark, and 
Without my guides, uh, I never would have got up here. I had to come up on my own, and then I met the rest here. <sighs> that was intense. This is kind of crazy, there. This is the key for the photo. Of course, I'm gonna get it. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I could fall asleep now. Yeah, I was falling asleep standing up. <laughs> I think I did, I don't remember that last half an hour. It was like a nine and a half out of ten. Honestly, until I saw you, I don't remember the bit before. I can't be caught up. <laughs> Right, okay, it's the last day. Um, we just did like the final porter dance, and I'm about to head down. Olivia's, get, you're getting the car down. <laughs> Unfortunately, the altitude really hit her hard. Um, you've been feeling pretty awful for like a day, right? More than a day. Yeah. So um, you don't know how it's going to affect you until you get up here. Some people, the altitude just kills, and that was Olivia and Michaela, unfortunately. But you didn't know that until now. So she's getting the rescue card down to the bottom. <laughs> While everyone's gonna... walking. <laughs> well, not everyone. You and one other person. Um, and from our group, two out of seven got altitude sickness. I'm walking down, and then we'll meet each other at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You did your best. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. And for me, uh, I've got a seven hour walk down to the bottom to finally finish it up. It's kind of, it was weird. It was like a dream getting to the top and honestly it was like, I don't know, it was crazy. Like, um, it all felt like a, a blur, like a dream. And now I haven't really even had time to reflect on it yet before heading down to the bottom. But honestly, an incredible experience. Loved every second. And yeah, that's it for now. Um, yeah, it's all right. Okay, see you later. Yeah, it's a bit of a disjointed outro, but I just want to say that like the whole experience was amazing. I don't like we didn't get the best scenery because it was snowing, um, but the snow added a different element to it. It was really hard. It was just about. It wasn't enjoyable at all, to be honest. That last summit bit was like just hard, but it was just having the achievement of getting to the top, getting there, and then heading straight down. Yeah, I wouldn't change that for anything. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and this is my life.